Millions, good morning, afternoon, whatever. It's another wonderful day. I was just thinking about like, I, I don't know why I was, I was thinking about this, like being positive, starting things out on a good foot because nobody likes to watch negative stuff. There's enough of that going on in the world, so let's keep the day positive. Let's get through the intro. See you on the other side. I'm headed out to a job. It's a, one of those jobs where it's like, like a, a one job, two cars. Love those. Anyway, the weekend's here. We've got awesome stuff planned. Actually, no, no, no. Uh, I'll tell you on the other side of the intro. It's not us that has awesome stuff planned. Trip 27 has like done something for Angie and I for like a mini getaway, mini honeymoon. And I still don't know what it is. We're going to find out later. I think we're going to find out later, either today or tomorrow. Ooh, I'm so excited. I am so excited. So that's what's going on this weekend. Positivity, excitedness. I think I know what it is. All right, just like that for you guys. Uh, what an awesome uh, end of the day. So we are, uh, the weekend is starting. Well, after some paperwork and stuff like that, and you know, I gotta do some research. But after research, after business paperwork, after the bank, then the weekend's starting. Can't wait, looking forward to it. Something I can wait on, and I have to wait on, traffic. Gross. Yeah. Investigating you and your family. To get more information about your arrest warrant and case file from United States government, you may press one for more information before we download your case into the courthouse. Thank you. Press one now. I'm going to jail. Bye. <laughs> Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line. You'll be transferred to the next available agent. Oh, joy. Oh, my toast is buttered. Wow, for wanting to get my information, they sure are making me hold for an exorbitant amount of time. What it is is they didn't expect anybody to answer, and their automated system is blinking right now. Please stay on the line. You'll be transferred to the next available agent. Now somebody's like, oh my god, somebody bought it. Where's Frank? He's supposed to do this. Maybe they know I'm gonna mess with them, so they're putting me on hold because they're messing with me and wasting my time now. <laughs> Next song. <laughs> Woohoo! Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line and you'll be transferred to the next available agent. Hello? Hello? Is there anybody there? Oh! The bastards hung up on me! They hung up on you? They wasted my time! <laughs> oh! That so did not work out the way that I anticipated. Anyway, the message that they sent me was, uh... Uh, I'm going to be sent to jail because I've co been committing fraud on my social security number and and before they send everything to the prosecutor and blah 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 and I wanted to waste their time and now they have wasted four minutes of mine but hey we got some material for the day but did we we did <laughs> and and I got my chicken nipples in the mail Wow yeah, and when you were out by the mailboxes, you actually pulled them out and you're like, my nipples are here. <laughs> but I'm sure if any of the... Neighbors heard me? Nables, nables. <laughs> the neighbors. <laughs> if the neighbors heard you, I'm sure they did not understand that it was A good thing. water feeders that you were excited to get. It's actually rabbit nipples. Oh, okay. That's the company that I got them from. And the rabbit, rabbit, not rabid nipples. That would be a bad thing. Rabbit nipples. Right. I want to eat my bread and and um, oh, I'm back. I'm I'm home. Yay! And Anne is back in solitary, so we're giving. Oh, thank you, Carrie Ann. I want to say thank you to Carrie Ann because she sent the that link. That's what we watched last night. Yeah, and we did the other things. There was a couple things and like the garlic water. We uh... hey, Johnny Cash. Shh. We are now syringe feeding. Force. <laughs> well, yeah, she doesn't necessarily like the garlic water, but it's... I've always known that, that garlic is a natural 
antibiotic. I'm kind to, of. I'm trying to turn this down, but oh, I can't. Yeah, shh, cash, shh. Hold on. Wait for it. There. And it's done. Okay, you talk, I'll eat. I don't have anything to say. Oh, boy. <laughs> We're force feeding her garlic because um, she doesn't like it. Garlic, garlic water. water. So mm -hmm. it's like garlic crushed up in water. And um, I don't blame her for not liking it. But um, I'm going to do that all day today. And um, tomorrow, too, right? Tomorrow, garlic water right through all of this. But tomorrow, we'll introduce some um, yogurt. Mm. So we were already doing the yogurt thing, but we should have done it for another day, probably. Mm -hmm. So now we're starting over. Yeah. <clears throat> Apparently when they eat the, what, the starches and the... Well, yeah, the starch feeds the... Yeast. Yeast. You don't want to feed your yeast. No. Unless you're making well, that, bread. That goes for humans, too. That's why a lot of humans have issues, because they have... Too much bread. pH imbalances and uh, yeast... Balance, imbalances in their guts. In Gotta there. Have healthy bacteria in there and the proper pH in there. It's important. So our chicken nipples, which we're going to go to Lowe's. Are we going to Lowe's? Sure. We're going to Lowe's. Woohoo! Can we get coffee too? Yes, we can. I'll go get cleaned up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. We're here again. Can you guys see that? The cart has a wheel. It's I never ever get a good cart. And we got pea gravel. Why do they call it pea gravel? That's not pea gravel, that's landscape. Well, it's almost pea gravel. It's almost. Pea gravel is round and beautiful. Round and beautiful. So if you pee on it, it becomes round and beautiful. That's not what I said, but okay. <laughs> of course, I go over there, I get the camera because she's doing something cute, laying on her back, feet in the air, just kind of spread eagle I guess and she was she was being all all good and and I get the camera and then she stops hi honey how's your day it was, it was good it was that good it, it was great okay so we have now watched three episodes of Parks and Rec and we are how far are we no it's just gonna start again oh season four episode 10. season four episode 10 Coda has been not eating that much recently so we had some fish oil that we put into his food and that allowed him to eat and go crazy and now Buffy is over there analyzing what she doesn't have and what he does have <laughs> and now she's probably in the kitchen like sniffing around I'm gonna come back I know that she wants his food but and I stopping herself though. she is <clears throat> okay let me tell you guys a little something about Buffy she is a very intelligent dog. It's kind of like the kid that gets in trouble for doing something one time, and then every subsequent time that they try to do that thing, they try to go around you and sneak. And that's what she does. She totally sneaks. Just for instance, she knows that she's supposed to stay on her bed. So when I... Oh, good, <laughs> good girl. <laughs> I saw that. You stopped yourself. Good girl. No, I just saw you guys watching me. That's what I thought. Anyway. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. I just came over here to fart. Okay, go away. You stink. Oh, she does. <laughs> go on your bed. Go on your bed. Oh, oh get out of here. Go. Holy cow. She does really fart thing. Anyway, so... I'll leave the house, I'll get back, and I know that she was at the door, but as soon as I open that door, she runs back to her bed, turns around, sits down, and looks at me when I come through the door like, Hi, I've been here the whole time. Which she hasn't. Oh, man. Oh, Jeez. So bad. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, your eye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at her. You hurt her feelings. She's like, oh, are you talking about me? You stinky bitch. I love you, but you're a stinky bitch. <laughs> wow. Oh, come on now. Well, she does stink. <laughs> oh, I want to go show you guys the water. I haven't shown that. It's I, I got too so dark. Nah, I got so caught up in making it. Do you want a flashlight? Where I'm going, I don't need a but flashlight. It's so hard to see when you put it on the vlog. I'll lighten the clip. But it, that's still hard. To I'll turn the porch light on. 
Aha. There is lights out there. So... There are lights okay. out there. Okay. So we're all good. Go come too? Okay. Yeah, see, look, there's plenty of light out here. No, there's light to you. Oh, look at that. Look how pretty that is. It is pretty. Look at the it's chicken. Like, the... Tomorrow is supposed to be the hottest day of the week. Is it really? Yeah, 27. Oh. Wow. That's it's hot. hot. <laughs> okay, Paris Hilton. It's like 90 degrees or something like that. Oh, no, I don't know about that. Yeah. Is it? Almost. It's supposed to get that hot tomorrow? 27. I don't plus think... 30. No, 27. How does that go? 27, 27 times 2 plus 30. Okay, so say just 20, 30. 40, 54, 54, 5, 6, 7, 84. Okay. That's not that hot. Anyway, so look, guys, the chicken water. So we got this piece. This right here will go through the 2x4, which goes through the wall. This will get cut. I don't know what the uh, how wide or how long I want to cut that, but there you go. So what they do is they go in there, and they go peck, peck, peck at that little thing, and then it fills up the water, and they're able to drink, and it keeps your water nice and fresh. <laughs> Chicken nipples. My nipples came in the mail. Oh, my. <laughs> you said i did say that my nipples came in the mail <laughs> are you going to walk around the outside yeah we have uh led i love that this one lights everything up i know it's so neat oh that's our water barrel by the way we got this uh stuff in it here to catch any debris and uh we got what are these these are motion sensing led solar lights and there are also some in the garden here, so that we can see any predators that come at night. Oh, there it is. See? Look at that. And it makes it look hella spooky in here, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, and we have a couple pumpkins. We're just giving you guys, like, the, the lowdown of everything. Doesn't it make it look spooky in there? <laughs> you don't think so? I think it... <laughs> well, that's true. And it shows all the weeds that we need to, uh... Oh, by the time I get over here, they're going to turn off. Uh, it's kind of like E.T. Hold on, wait for him to go out, then I want you to walk over there. Okay? E.T.? Yeah, E.T. When, oh, when, when, when they first meet E.T. Oh, in the garden. Okay. Elliot! Okay, now go. Go and walk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Spooky. Let me get out my Reese's Pieces. <laughs> and there I go making uh, references from the 1980s again. So am I E.T.? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay. So, Angie and I just had, uh, we went down a rabbit hole. A musical we, rabbit oh, hole. We started with like a chicken. We started with a president of so the United States. Oh yes, that's right. That's where it started. The president, mm -hmm. current, mm -hmm. and looking up something on Snopes that. Oh that yeah, we were like one... that's not true. So we had to look it up and then. Yeah. All the time, people will post stuff on Facebook or they'll send something to me about something and it'll be like, oh, that's not true. That's a rumor. Please do your research before you sit there and blast it out. And then I wanted go to, to Snopes know about and... all these different presidents. So then we looked at presidents right back to Washington and looked at all of their pictures and. And Abraham Lincoln was not the first president. Raise your hands if you think he was. Nobody thinks he was. Okay, I did. A friend of mine did. Oh, okay. So, anyway, okay, just kidding. Yeah, and then we ended up... Talking about, like, music and... Oh, it's because my brother sent a TikTok video, and then I went on TikTok, and then I started going through TikTok, and then... And then I started playing Easy e and you were playing NWA, and, <laughs> and then I was playing Paul Schaefer and the world's most dangerous band with... with Ugh, um, awful. The, the doo -wop. No, that's when you started playing that, and I said, what that's year was it. that released? And I said, oh, I was boy. listening to this. <laughs> Yeah, because back in the 80s, like Will Smith and Paul Schaefer from um, uh, David Letterman and... Uh, Don't the... look it up, it's horrible. It's not You'll horrible. Never it's get a that sign of it. It's not well, this a sign is true. But it, it, was no, it, it wasn't horrible. It was great because Will Smith was on it. Just because Will Smith was on it doesn't make it good. I'm sure that he would disagree with you. Maybe. 
maybe he'd okay. be embarrassed if he... Yeah, I would be embarrassed. <laughs> Especially when Paul Schaefer starts to rap. Oh my gosh. So she started playing, this is what I was listening to when you were listening to that. So then, of course, after that, I played Rick Astley, you know, compared to NWA, Rick Astley. <laughs> By the way, I Rick rolled her and she didn't even say anything, so that was great. I was just mortified at what I was hearing. Oh, that. yeah, it was pretty, pretty bad. And then, you know, I played her a little digital underground, you know. It was all good. What are, what are we on now? Oh, we're on Billy Dean now. Oh, because we started talking about country music. Okay, uh, let's uh, talk about some COC. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, excellent. <laughs> Did not upload ex at exactly 10 o'clock today. Therefore, Mr. Broach was not first. However, Darth Anger was. We're second, Mr. Broach. But you got better than yesterday. Yesterday you were third. What time or what time did this vlog go live? Hmm, I don't know. Um, Piazzi Tutorials, new commenter, or you changed your name? I have Piazzuri? been. Piazzuri. Huh? Piazzuri. There's a U in there. Yeah, Piazzuri. Oh, okay. It almost looks like pizza, making me hungry again. I just ate. Ooh, popcorn. Focus. Dang it. I've been down that rabbit hole in garden vlogs. Found tea gardens and sun tea. I've been inspired to grow my own tea garden just waiting on supplies to arrive. Oh, that's neat. Oh, we don't have room for a tea I garden. I never thought about that. I know. That's kind of neat, though. Huh. We got more yard. Maybe one day. Okay. When, <laughs> when we get another house. Let's, let's get everything we have under control first. Kitchen. Uh, Whirly yeah. Bird Productions. Never heard of Sun Tea until like three days ago. It's weird that you mention it. And how many people? Well, Spain Hollow. She made Sun Tea. Wow. Warren Mills, I don't understand this comment. Want is $13 merchandise. Mm. Okay. Well, we have t-shirts available. All that stuff's down in the link down below. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. I'm going back a comment. Pat, Pat went on. This is going to be a long vlog. Uh, <laughs> that she got lazy and uh, went to cold brew because in Texas it gets hot to basically heat the water to, brew, uh, to a brewing point. And she hasn't added milk to hot tea since she was a kid. Like I've heard of doing great. where you add just tea like... bags and you put it in the fridge, but I've never, I, never, I didn't realize that it was like a put it in the sun and let the sun do. Yeah, the sun does its thing. Um, the one and only Lindsay Bird. My mom used to make sun tea on the back porch. It's a South Dakota thing. Huh. Marie Winton. I love making sun tea and then adding fireball whiskey and ice Whoa. to it. So good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, and you say that my dog Shorty is fascinated by mm, your chickens. I just yeah. posted a photo of her watching the vlog on my Instagram. Yeah, she tagged the chickens. Did you see she it? She did. I yeah. did. I saw that. That was great. It that reminded was really me cool. of Buffy because Buffy last night was like... Buffy wants to eat the chickens, yes. so she wanted to eat the TV last night. Go figure. <laughs> Halloween fur. I'm back home from camping, and it was an awesome and fun week, but now I've got a lot of vlogs I need to get caught back up on. Well... Yes, you do. I hope you had fun. I do, too. I wish yes. I was camping. Me, too. I want to go camping so bad. Nicole Flynn, my mom always made... I think you meant Sun Tea since he was... or Oh, yeah, since he, Sun Tea, when I was growing up, and I made Sun Tea all the time. Uh, Van Nile NSX. I'm with Angie on this one. As a fellow British Columbian, I have never made yeah. Sun Tea. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's one out of, like, six so far. From BC. So there you go. Uh oh, oh, oh. We don't do oh, that. Oh, oh no. What? Ralph and Jason, what? I'm sure this is blasphemous, but to many, I really don't like tea. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Oh, shoot. Oh. Oh, sorry. I was trying to make that really dramatic and I broke the camera. I, I'm more of a fan of herbal tea myself. And not with a bunch of crap in it. I just like tea. Tea. Yeah, maybe, well, that's the best for you, right? Maybe a tiny bit sweet with a little bit of honey. Maybe if oh, there's nothing, because sometimes you can get blends that have um, a little bit of fruit or something in them, so they're already slightly sweet. But I don't like when people don't put like... milk. Oh, speaking of, don't, don't put milk in tea. That's just nasty. <laughs> Sorry, everybody, it's nasty. <laughs> Okay, so Judy Hart says, what, what you just said, uh, sun tea, yes, occasionally. Sweet tea is iced tea with sugar in it when it's made. Very southern and for some, way too sweet. Well, that's the only way you can get it in Canada, too. If you order iced tea in Canada, anywhere you go, the restaurant, oh, yeah. you get a very sweet, it's almost like, I was going to say Those... pop. It's like soda without the bubbles. It's very sweet and syrupy. Those are two things that tripped me out when I went to the restaurant. The first thing about the steak 
or no, my burger. I'm burger, sorry, my yeah. burger. I wanted yeah. my burger well done, and they're like, yeah, duh. They're and like, the other they're thing looking is, at you like, of course when, it's gonna be well done, you freak. <laughs> when I got iced tea, I did ask for unsweetened, and they're like, huh? Because they they don't have control over that. It's a mix. Yeah, that's, that's weird. Um, Emerald Gypsy Heart Sun Tea. We call we call instant tea dust. <laughs> it looks kind of like dust. Yeah, it does. Carrie Ann Olson. I've made some tea. Sounds like your dad liked his tea the British way. Milk and tea. Uh, if you find it fun watching the chickens fight over food, if you find a cricket or grasshopper, toss it in from or toss it in for them alive and watch them chase it. When mm. we gave ours yogurt, we syringe fed them. They would bite on the end of the syringe and slowly put it into their mouths. And did they do this? Did they go? Yeah, that's what ours. They they take it in their mouth and they're kind of like, what am I supposed to do with this? Yeah. They try to drink it. And then they try to get off their beaks and they're <laughs> and those flies all over. It's so funny. Uh, Tony Fisk, yes, I used to make some sun tea. Everybody made sun tea. Nancy Dunkelberg, give the sun tea a try. It's really refreshing. I'm glad somebody else from BC is with me on this. Nancy Dunkelberg also says, have a wonderful evening. I loved the area you were in a couple days ago. It was a beautiful area. Oh, it was. And Joe Poppenhagen, you are saying my name right. Never thought my envelope would be on YouTube. Here it is again. <laughs> and it'll be on YouTube again when we do the opening everything on the 31st or thereabouts. Uh, and uh, also, what was the last thing? Oh, uh, you had bad storms tonight. Wow, bad. 117 miles per hour wind gusts. Holy, Holy cow. cow. Wow. Okay, stay safe. Anything to add? It was 70 miles per hour. Wow, that's crazy. Um... I would like to have some popcorn. Let's have some popcorn. Happy haunting, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. Night.